peace, and welcome. Today we are going to be creating works of art that will help us connect to nature through sound and deepen our self-understanding. I am not a professional therapist and this video is not meant to replace medical treatment. This is simply an opportunity for self-actualization and deepening the connection to mind, body, spirit, and nature. In the description box below, there will be timestamps for each part of this video in case you'd like to go back or skip ahead. This video was created for you, so take what speaks to you and leave the rest. The earth has music for those who will listen. In every walk in nature, one receives much more than he seeks. The first step is being here. You were drawn to this video for a reason, and the reason is healing your relationship with self. So I'd like to be the first to thank you in taking a step towards higher thinking and deeper appreciation for this life and all life that surrounds you. The second step is choosing your medium. What would you like to create with? This can range anywhere from paints or pencils to sticks and leaves, whatever you feel most comfortable creating with. Anything can be used as a medium. Some examples include, but are not limited to, markers, magazines, paint, colored pencils, clay, leaves, sticks, mud, watercolors, yarn, and the list goes on. You can choose just one or many. The main point in picking a medium is to pick something you feel you're able to express yourself through. You will also need some sort of canvas, which can include paper, notebook, sticky note, or a field of grass. If you choose to use nature as your canvas, I do recommend you do your best not to harm the natural environment. The third step is finding a piece of nature to create it. This can be a field or a park, your backyard, or a plant in your bedroom. No matter how big or small, nature should be present in your creative process to keep you grounded. For today's activity, it will be most helpful to be in an open area of nature. For today's activity, it will be most helpful to be in an open area of nature. There will be times in the video where it will be most helpful to pause the video in order to absorb your own surroundings and the sounds that come from it. Let's get into creating. Before we begin, take a second to notice your blank canvas in front of you. By the end of this session, your canvas will tell you a new truth about the messages surrounding you in everyday life. In order to connect with the process, imagine your mind as clear and blank as this canvas. Feel free to close your eyes and take a deep breath. What do you hear? The sounds that you hear are simple waves of energy that are communicating a message to its surroundings. Whether a person is standing near you talking to their friend or a gust of wind is blowing through the trees, messages are being sent and received in every noise that is created. The absence of sound or silence also carries its own messages as well. Every being on earth interprets these sounds in different ways. When you and I hear thunder, we hear that we need to go inside to wait out the storm. But a blade of grass hears nourishment. When a river rises and flows heavily, humans hear a place to swim. A duck may hear the need to retreat to higher ground. As humans, we give these sounds abstract meanings that turn into sentences and stories. We have voice inflection, verbiage, reasoning, and context. We base our lives off of this context. We hold opinions and insecurities based on the context of the sounds that we hear. Take on the perspective of another being in nature, say a bird or a deer, you understand that they live in a world that lacks context. They don't use inflection or pitch or verbiage or reasoning in the ways that we do. While a loud sound to you and I can be frightening, it can also be exciting. For example, fireworks, cheering crowds, loud music. But to animals, especially those of prey, Loud sounds mean loud actions, and typically a loud action is a threat to their safety. Even predators in nature only use loud sounds, a grizzly growl perhaps, when they feel threatened or feel the need to protect their territory. 
Communication is fundamental to our nature, but our words, when broken down, are purely just sounds that we have assigned context to. It is in your control how much power words truly have. Today we are taking the context away from sounds to see what we can discover about the earth and ourselves through listening. You may hear these noises every day, but do you really listen to them, to what they may be saying? In just a moment, you will place your pencil on your canvas and close your eyes. You will be creating a sound map. So when you hear a sound in your vicinity, drag your pencil to the part of the canvas that you relate it to and make a symbol or drawing to represent the sound you've just heard. This artwork does not have to be clean and neat, so don't worry about going off the page or overlapping. When you feel like you've captured each sound, you can open your eyes and drop your pencil. I will leave a three minute window of silence in the video where you can pause the video to fully submerge in your own surroundings. Now close your eyes and listen to the sounds. Remember to listen for what messages they may contain. Once you have finished your sound map, look to your drawing and add some color or details to it. Create a landscape out of your map. You can use colors that represent how you felt when you heard the sounds or as representation of what the sound came from. You can add to the landscape with new sounds that you're hearing. This is a contextless interpretation of the sounds that surround you. Create a title for your creation once you've finished. I will leave another three minute window of silence. If you need longer, feel free to pause the video.
Now that you've finished your creation, I'm going to offer some reflection questions. You can answer these on the back of your canvas or in a notebook or simply in your head. Just make sure you give yourself time to ponder each question and answer truthfully. What are your initial feelings from this project and looking at what you've just completed? What messages are you receiving from this natural area? Do the sounds go together or do they clash? What kind of audible environment surrounds you? Thinking about all the sounds you make in a day, is there a common message coming from you? What noises do you really enjoy making? Think about using your voice specifically. What ways do you use it most often? For example, whisper, shout, hum, laugh, or are you silent? What insecurities or hesitations or even joys do you feel when using your voice? What role does silence play in nature? What role does silence play in your life? What is your relationship with silence? Overall, has your understanding of listening, understanding messages, or just sounds of the world shifted in any way? And would you consider spending more time listening to the sounds of nature? You have completed today's session. I want to remind you how great the work you're doing is. This road only leads to deeper understanding and a greater ability to be in the moment. Give yourself some time to rest and ground and recognize the shifts in perspective that may have occurred today. If you need anyone to talk to, my contact information will be in the description box below. Feel free to send me your creations there or through Instagram as well. Today's session was inspired by Teresa Sweeney and her book, Ego Art Therapy, Letting Earth Teach. Her book and website will be linked below.